Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm going to battle through the whole Act 1 of S-Class Pete. Just to conserve on phone space, I'm going to run it at 1.25 times the normal speed. So, this new Pete is ridiculous, in my opinion. Scopely is now introducing something they call an S-Class, which is basically a 7-star. Or, if you think about it, could be an 8-star, considering Generation 2 6-stars were kind of like your 7-stars, who had, I think it was like 500 more stats in total points. But this new S-Class Pete, he has about 1,000 more stat points than any other 6-star out there. In Act 1, you're lucky enough to have him as your companion or your faction support. And I actually liked using him here because he's a reviver, he's a guardian, he does basically everything in my opinion like he just he does so much and he's such a dense tune he heals his active skill also recovers maim and it heals and then his weapon gives plus 20 percent hp at the start of every match so really if this was ap then i would say this tune should never see the light of day anywhere and even with how dense he is i still don't think he should be here it's just, it's getting too ridiculous, in my opinion, at how overpowered tunes are becoming. This trend of tunes is just incredible and incredulous to me as well. Because it's like, as soon as you get someone that's useful, someone comes out two weeks later that makes them ineffective or less valuable. And to keep up with whatever everyone else is doing, you need to keep buying and buying and buying. And it's just not feasible. So... Just to let you know as well, I did fail on some of the stages of this roadmap and I did include those in this video because I think it's fair and it's better to see that these stages are tough. They are incredibly difficult. I am right now stuck on Act 2, Stage 4, and I have tried it maybe five times and have been unable to complete it. And it is so frustrating that it might be the first roadmap that I've ever given up on. I think the stage I'm stuck on has Pete as a leader, Zach, Negan, um, Denise, who you don't think much of, but her active skill is very annoying, as well as her healing, especially when you finally get a character down, and then you have Guardian Douglas as well. So these tunes all have incredibly high stats, and it just gets super frustrating trying to win trying to take down any tune. I've tried bleeding them, I've tried defense down, I've tried attack up, defense down, and a lot of control. I have just been trying different combinations, and I just, I don't know what to do next. It frustrates me with this roadmap, where it's listed as S10++, I think, and it's Nightmare 3, so that means no items, no continues, and I don't even know what the last part means, but it's it's just really frustrating. Like here, I just was defeated, and I'm going to go right back into it. This roadmap is definitely not for your free-to-play player. It's not for your light spenders. It's mostly for your whales who want the 25 blue keys, and then for continuing and beating the second act, you'll get 25 more keys. But I think you need 4,000 keys in order to claim like the five star Pete or something and then it's like 5500 for the six star and it's like 11,000 if you want to claim the S Pete which you can't get if you get the six star you can't like ascend him to an S tune you just have to get him that way there's no doubt in my mind that at least one two a handful of players already have S Pete but that means shelling out a ton of money. Because if you took a look at the wheel, there were ways where you got one key for every 10 pulls, and then on the wheel itself, there were bags where you could get more keys. But the RNG on that is probably like 0.001% chance of getting the bag that has, I don't even know how many keys it was, but it wasn't enough to get SP'd. I just, I can't believe how much money people are going to have to shell out if they want this tune. To be honest, with these roadmap stages, I'm not even sure what to suggest to everyone. I would say just work off of Pete himself, at least for Act 1, 
and you could try using a bleed team on these tunes because they they have high stats you know high defense high hp and so like um a defensive build with bleed mods and a lacerator may work well especially because pete's um leadership skill it's like plus 30 hp plus 30 defense and then a huge bonus to ap when taking damage i would also suggest running a guardian tune because the guardian shield can block payback from negan it can block um bide from l and it's just an all-around useful thing to have because pete only guardians when he uses his rush this roadmap is just super tedious as well and honestly there are so many ways to use your time in a better way like i'm not going to be able to use these blue keys what are 50 keys or 25 keys in this case going to do for me when the five star costs four thousand to put it into perspective if i were to run this roadmap sorry just act one 160 times then i could get five star pete just based off the 25 keys that i'm getting for completing it and this roadmap is just not worth it, not worth the time or the energy. And Scopely's probably just going to run this roadmap the one time and then it's gone. So I'm not sure what the purpose of getting uh, 50 keys was because I can't use them and they're just going to sit there in my inventory collecting dust. To me, these useless items that I can't use in the museum to upgrade tunes, to do anything with, I think there should be some way to convert them into useful gear or tokens of some sort because it takes a lot of effort to get them and the only reason I'm really doing this roadmap is to kind of see the difficulty and to show you guys kind of what the difficulty is as well. Otherwise, I can genuinely say this roadmap is just a waste of time and if you're not going for Pete, I would say just skip it. Use your energy on something else because there's the um, event mission for pathways where you need to complete a certain number of roadmaps and you're not going to do it by doing this one it costs an insane amount of energy and the reward just isn't there like you would expect that for completing this very difficult roadmap you would get at least i don't know a hundred keys an act because that would at least be something instead of just 25 keys which like it's it's negligible Mathematically, by completing this roadmap, I am getting 0.625% of 5 star Pete, or 0.45% of 6 star Pete, or 0.22% of S Pete, which is about on par when pulling for a premier recruit, where the odds of getting the recruit as a 6 star is 0.2 of a percent. I really don't know what else to say about this roadmap other than it's very difficult and I would not waste my time on it if I were you. Like, this is just a bag of frustration, and I understand if you like challenging yourself and trying to do the most difficult of roadmaps, but this is just beyond any type of difficulty we've had in the past. I've been able to get through every single difficult roadmap that has been presented before me, before this one, and I just, I can't validate finishing it and wasting all this energy when I am getting legitimately nothing out of it. Like, if you'd like to try and complete this, feel free to message me and I can try and give you some advice on what I would do with whatever tunes that you have. But I will have to say that there's going to be some situations where I just don't have an answer for you because the stage is just so hard. It's so difficult and sometimes you just don't have the tunes or the weapons to beat it and then add in rng like right here you can see that i ended up impairing everyone except for william and because of that it bought me some more time like the last time i went through this i ended up failing on it but this one as you see like i've already killed two tunes and we're pretty early on in the match it's incredible to me how much rng comes into play you can spend and spend and spend in this game and legitimately get nothing and then in some matches, even like raids, for instance, you get super lucky. Like here, I'm finishing this roadmap pretty fast now. This stage, when the first time I ended up failing on it. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening to my video. Sorry that you had to hear me rant about this roadmap, but it's just so hard and I'm frustrated.